Well, this is not very good. We have a problem with the master. Uh, I switched it on. As you can see, it's balancing. Um, but what happens if I attempt to switch it off, which is this button here, the display goes off, but the machine doesn't. See now it's adjusting it's going through the the lights, still balancing. I push it long press. No. And this one? One two. Yeah. So we can. <laughs> Don't know if it's supposed to do that when you lay it down. Let's stand it back up. Oop, it's come back by itself. Still can't switch it off. Now. Unfortunately, unfortunately, because I can't switch it off, all I can really do is um, unplug a battery. That's all I can do because I can't. I can't switch it off. Uh, the display um, display seems to be saying sensible stuff again, but the this, this display was saying garbage. The, the display has gone dim, and uh, there's not always there. So, I mean, all I can really do. The only way I've got to switch this off, I can't leave it switched on, can I? Um, the only way I've got to switch this off is to disconnect a battery. I haven't, um, I haven't actually even put one mile on this. I haven't ridden it yet. This is brand new. What I'm going to have to do, hold on a minute, I'm going to have to get a screwdriver for the knurled knobs by the looks of it. It, um, I think it must be a firmware problem. Could be something in the logic. It's um, because the, both switches are obviously functioning. Well, hmm, the on-off switch has that ever done anything? I think the on-off switch isn't functioning. But um, let's. Uh, Dear, oh dear, the last thing I wanted to be doing is taking this to bits. But we can't, we can't leave it. We can't leave it. I mean, I couldn't transport it switched on. Let's uh, take the cover off here a minute.
But that's not good, is it? Oh dear. Right, I'll take uh, take the cover off a minute. That should just come off, which it does. We'll uh, let's see. Uh, put a screwdriver down a minute. So we've got a bit of foam. This is the off one button. It's not doing anything. Um, it's one of the rubber seals. Right, I'll unplug the battery. We can get which one can I get access to? Okay, we'll unplug this battery. Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to unplug two batteries, aren't we? Because it's a parallel machine. So I've undone that one. So let's undo this one as well. <laughs> I've undone two batteries and we still have power. So huh. parallel and series, they must be paralleled. That's interesting, because I've undone the front two batteries, so these are um, series batteries, two in series, two in series, and then the two pairs parallel. So they must be series um, between left and right, so the back left and back right are series together, and the back right and the back front are series together, which is very inconvenient, because... Um, I've unplugged two batteries and the power's still on. Oh dear, oh dear. So, can we... I don't like it because it's powered. But what choice have I got? So, the display board is held by a single... held by a single hex screw. So we'll take that out. Always remembering there's 134 volts on this wheel, so I want to be a little bit careful. So that's lifted. I can see a couple of little boards in there. But what we really want is another battery cable. Where's the other battery cable? We've got one, two. Oh, it's under there. Gone to the wrong place. That doesn't have to come out. So we'll put that back in. Seems still powered. I push the on off button, still won't power off. Right, so the back battery terminals are under this cover here apparently. And I really don't like this. Oh, that's not good, is it? Now. I want to be very careful not to drop a screw into that 
the battery um, connectors on this wheel are live, so don't want to get near those really. It's one out. Take two out. Right, will the cover come off? Yes, it will. So the cover, ah. So it's going in behind the board there, I see. So, so we can get this one out. Yeah. And it goes dead. Well, that's good. <sighs> Didn't really need that, did we? So normally, when the machine is off, to discharge the board, you, you hit the power button continuously. Which is what I'm doing now. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the I'm going to put the power back on to see if it mysteriously comes back to life. Oop! Got a little spark. So we're powered again, the machine's still off, let's see if it powers on. No, no. See it wouldn't power off, and now even though it's got batteries on it, it won't power on. Interesting. I mean it's only got two batteries on it, perhaps we should connect the other ones, perhaps it knows. So now it's got all its batteries on. Power on? No? It's an absolute dead wheel. It is dead. Wow, isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? Well, I kind of showed you in real time what was going on. Um, given that control board is faulty and it's not, um, it's not in transport mode. I think it would be foolish to um, to leave that connected. And since I know that they're powered series at the back now what we will undo is um, we'll undo a few of these connectors um, they're not they don't seem to be very well insulated at the back the, the back of the connector looks like you can see the um, soldered connection so that's a potential of shorting things out I think um, I'll put a little bit of tape or something around those um, before we put that top back on oh what a shame what a shame hmm. and for no particular reason um, I just I came I came in here and uh, I'd. What we done? All I'd really done is um, laid the machine down. Um, oh yeah. The the only difference was I put it. I I look, look, I 
I came in, I switched it on, I just rolled it into the room, and instead of um, switching the machine off, I, I was interested to see how it would sit on the, um, on the stand, and particularly on this carpet. So instead of switching it off, I hit the, um, the other button twice to thing, and I, I stood it back, and when I, I stood it back up again, but I already noticed that the buttons were not very consistent in how they were operating. Sometimes it was, you know, but then you see that. That doesn't always work first time. So I was playing with that a bit, but then when I pick, pick the wheel up and try to switch it off, nothing happened, and it still, you know, it won't switch on, won't switch off now. And um, well, we won't now because the batteries are out. But yeah, so yeah, there we go. <sighs> hmm. So um, I'm going to lift three of the four connections out. And then um, we'll put put a bit of tape around the connections, and then we'll close it back up, and uh, we'll have to have a word with um, Ian on um, Monday. But um, yeah, like I say, I've, I've stood on I've stood on this wheel in the kitchen. It um, I haven't ridden it 100 yards, which is yeah a shame, isn't it? Right, so that's it. We'll put some tape uh, on those connectors and we'll close it up and uh, that will be that.